Good day, fellow YouTubians! I'm Funny Ian back with another episode of Gamer Report, your weekly lowdown for gaming news. Man, this game's gonna be so much fun. Can't wait to download it. Alright, go to download. Wait, eight hours? But, uh, that sucks. If you have ever downloaded PC games online, then you probably know what I'm talking about. But fear not, impatient gamers, for Google Fiber has been announced. Now, even though Google Fiber isn't really gaming news, um, actually, if it's not gaming news, then you shouldn't even talk about it. Shut up, you! Anyway, Google Fiber is the new television and broadband service that is being offered by Google. What makes Google Fiber so special is that it will offer speeds up to 100 times faster than your average broadband. In other words, that is damn fast. Now, Google Fiber's top tier service will cost you $120 a month, but it will give you the 1 gigabit per second speeds with no caps, a terabyte of cloud storage, as well as thousands of TV channels. Thousands! Does Google Fiber help with your digestion? This will affect gaming by eliminating that long wait time for huge game files like Shogun 2. It will be so epically fast! And you'll have amazing ping when you're playing online. Ponage! One more thing, currently the service is only available in Kansas cities. Yeah, I know. Interesting choice. But once a neighborhood gets 4280 households registered for fiber, Google simply just turns on the service. Boop! Hey mom? Can can we upgrade to Google Fiber? No. Speaking of digital downloads, GameStop may be reselling your downloaded games and goods in the future. That's right, PC gamers, there may soon be an option for us to get used PC games. Or, I guess, PC game licenses. So, do I have to, like, go to the DMV to get these licenses? But, from what we know, it could still take some time. GameStop CEO Paul Raines has said that, quote, we're interested, it's not a meaningful business yet. Come to think of it, the only reason I ever go to GameStop is to kill time. I don't even remember the last time that I actually bought something at GameStop. How about you? When was the last time that you went to GameStop, and what did you do while you were there? Did you buy a game? Were you browsing? Or were you flirting with that cute gamer chick behind the counter? So Windows 8 has taken a bit of flack this last week from some pretty big names in gaming. The first instigator was Valve CEO Gabe Newell, who stated that, quote, I think Windows 8 is a catastrophe for everyone in the PC space. Catastrophe. That's, that's not good. Newell went on to say that he wanted to put some 2500 Steam games onto the Linux OS. Linux? What's that? Unfortunately, Linux doesn't support the vast array of games that Windows does. So, we'll see how that pans out. No, like seriously, what's what's Linux? And the second person to agree with Newell was Blizzard's VP of Game Design, Rob Pardo, who wrote in a tweet earlier this week, Nice interview with Gabe Newell. I think Windows 8 is a catastrophe for everyone in the PC space. Not awesome for Blizzard either. So, not quite as apocalyptic, but nonetheless, negative. Poopy Windows 8. As for me, I figure if Windows 8 sucks, then I'll just wait for the next Microsoft OS. It's what XP users did. Oh, stupid Vista error messages! But what would you guys do? Would you look into Linux, or would you just wait for the next Microsoft OS to come out? Comment below! Bigotry, hatred, overall meanness. So I pretty much just described internet trolls. <laughs> Your mom's fat. <laughs> well, earlier this week, a gamer website that fought against such hate, gamersagainstbigotry.org, was recently defaced by racial slurs, images, and has even been rendered useless by hackers. The idea behind the website was for people to pledge to be a positive impact in the gaming community, and to not use bigoted language based on gender, race, or sexual orientation, etc. Unfortunately, attacks on the site have repeatedly reset the pledge scores to zero. Now, the founder of the website, comedian Sam Killerman, Killerman, that is such an awesome last name, is asking people to, instead of pledging, to donate to the site's Indiegogo fund, which will help him and the rest of his staff to get back the website. Now, I'm for this 110%, and if you agree, then you should totally donate with me. And of course, I will have the link to the Indiegogo page underneath the video description. And for all of you that have been attacking the website, you guys are a bunch of... Wait. If I'm for the pledge, I can't say those things. I suppose that's one of the downsides of the internet. Anonymity. Now, the final thing I want to bring up is the Droid X360. So, did Motorola and Microsoft make a baby? Actually, it is China's PS Vita ripoff. Made by Shenzhen Zunlong, that's a mouthful, the Droid X360 looks exactly like the Vita. 
but its major differences are its Android 4.0 OS and its game library. Particularly, old games from the Nintendo 64, Game Boy Advance, the Sega Dreamcast, and more. So it's essentially a giant emulator playing the games of your childhood. And of course it is able to play Android games such as Fruit Ninja and Angry Birds. Angry Sony! Okay everyone, well that wraps up this week's Gamer Report. Please like, subscribe, and comment with any of your thoughts. Also, enjoy the opening weekend of the 2012 Olympics. Nothing like seeing the world's best compete. Oh yeah, time to stretch. Ow! Ah, uh, too much stretching. Thanks again, and until next week, this is Funny Ian, signing out. Seriously, who's gonna tell me what Linux is? <laughs>